Hi, this screencast demonstrates how to set up NetBeans IDE support for Oracle Java and SDK 8 Early Access on the Windows operating system. To enable support for Oracle Java Micro Edition Software Development Kit 8 Early Access in NetBeans IDE, you need to download and install NetBeans IDE 8.0 Beta from the NetBeans download page. Download and install Oracle Java MESDK 8 Early Access from the Java MESDK download page. Activate Java ME support in NetBeans IDE. And register Oracle Java MESDK in NetBeans IDE. Please note that it is strongly recommended to use JDK 8 Early Access. After you've downloaded and installed the old bundle of NetBeans IDE, from the NetBeans ID download page, go to the Java MESDK download page, click the Accept License Agreement option, download the installer file, and save it to any location on your computer. Double click the installer file to run the installer and follow the instructions. To activate Java ME support in the IDE, complete the following steps Choose Tools. Plugins from the main IDE's toolbar. In the Plugins dialog box, click the Installed tab. Select Java ME from the list of available features and click Activate. At the Welcome panel of the Installer dialog box, click Activate. When the activation is successfully completed, click Finish. The icon for the plugin in the left pane reflects the new status of the feature. Click Close to close the plugin's dialog box. To register the Oracle Java ME SDK as a platform in NetBeans IDE, complete the following steps. In the IDE, choose Tools, Java Platforms. The Java Platform Manager dialog box displays. Click Add Platform. In the Select Platform Type panel of the Add Java Platform Wizard, select Java ME CLDC Platform Emulator and click Next. Select the directory you installed the Java ME SDK 8 Early Access Platform to and click Open. Ensure Java ME SDK 8 Early Access is chosen and click Next. As soon as the IDE detects the platform, click Finish. The Oracle Java ME SDK 8 Early Access is now registered in NetBeans IDE. Click Close. To create a Java ME 8 embedded project, you need to do the following. Choose File, New Project. In the New Project dialog box, select Java ME Embedded in the Categories list and Java ME Embedded Application. Click Next. In the Name and Location panel of the New Project Wizard, specify your project name and ensure that Java ME 8 Early Access Platform is chosen. Please note that it is strongly recommended to use JDK 8 Early Access from which the tools like Java C or Java Doc will be used. Click Finish. The IDE creates a new Java ME embedded application project. To customize a Java ME 8 embedded project, you can complete the following. Right click the project name and select Properties in the context menu. Choose Platform in the Project Properties dialog box. On this panel, you can specify the target JDK and Java Micro Edition platform for your project. You can also customize the devices used when running the project, Java ME configuration, profile, and optional packages to extend the runtime environment. The Application Descriptor category allows for configuring such Java ME specific information as attributes that are written to the application's JET file and JARS manifest, a list of midlets in the suite, push registry, 
and API permissions. The signing category enables you to sign a JavaME application with a selected certificate. On the obfuscating panel, ProGuard can be used to make code more difficult to read for humans when they try to reverse engineer an application. The Run category depends on the selected project's configuration. It comprises command line options, which are passed to a device when running the application, and the Run method, that is a way of deploying build jar or JAD onto an emulator or a device in a regular way or via OTA, which means that a JAD file is exposed by an HTTP link, which the device uses to download JAD and run the application. Click OK to close the dialog box. To run a JavaME 8 embedded project in the IDE, standard actions from the NetBeans toolbar or context menu are used. Right-click the project name and choose Run from the context menu. When you run your application, the ID compiles and builds the application according to the project settings. The output is shown in the device emulator, as well as in the output window of the ID. Thank you for watching.